So, hello and welcome back to another uh, playthrough of Jupiter Rosales 4. With, of course, once again a playthrough of the Ambana Fantasy mod, as this is always happening. <laughs> I feel like. Either way, we have our poll here. And I guess we do have a very clear winner. But I'm actually surprised how even the rest of the uh, uh, choices were. Like basically, from Bian Fang, we ba have fairly even uh, votes, so I don't think I'm gonna actually throw out Varine, like I usually do. Like usually I throw out the last one to basically get like two new nations to choose from, but looking at this even split here, I'm just gonna keep all f keep all four of them and only add one new, but either way, Siadan is the clear winner, as, seems, as, as it seems like people want to see uh, bird ladies, I don't judge. And I guess we'll jump, <laughs> we'll jump right into it. So, before we jump into the game, we of course are gonna, uh, as always, establish uh, the, what I'm gonna play next. Or at least, uh, uh, what I care, what I, whatever. There's gonna be a straw poll in the description, with uh, where you can vote on what I'm gonna play next. And I'm gonna give a quick description of what these nations are. So, there we go, that's a lot easier. So. Of course, uh, we have Varain still as a choice, the alchemists in the Empire, who are basically all about potions and gathering the ingredients for their alchemy. We have Badumant, the Storks in South Castanor, who are gonna... Who are tall as well. Like, they are basically... F they turn to farmers, mainly. That's that's their whole thing. We have China, uh, I mean Bian Fang over here. Trying to unite... Uh, uh, Halis. As I'm not even sure what or what they all want to unite, but they unite a lot. They form into another nation and then they get another mission tree and so, and so on and so forth. And then we also have Anesikeon over here. The navy with an army. Who are all focused about uh, island, uh, islands around here and I guess uh, uh, that's about it. Uh, like they, they maritime, naval, islands, that's what they want. As the fifth option... <coughs> I'm gonna add the Shattered Crown again to the mix, because I feel like they they were popular, but I didn't uh, didn't get a chance to play them because of the new update. So we'll see what, how well they do in the this coming straw poll. Either way, see ya done. Is right here. The harpies in the. Well, not that's not quite. They're not the harpies in the east. They're, here are the harpies in the east somewhere. These ones, but we are eastish. <laughs> we we are full on harpy, like really uh, 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 the monstrous part of harpies, not like harpyland, which does the things diplomatically. We are a little bit more martially focused. We have Matriarch Astarda in charge, which is very much very very shows that she is not here for diplomacy. Same with her, with her daughter. Uh, we are a monstrous nation, and we have the Harpy administration, which is... I uh, don't like it, because I am, after all, a tall player, and development cost increase, advisor cost increase, all necessary for tall play. They at least have a governing capacity reduction, and they are very much focused on vessel play. A military, uh, Harpies are fast, and they want to conquer quickly. Their defenses are terrible. Otherwise, they are they are interesting. Let's phrase it like that. They also take less damage, but for that they take more morale damage. So we'll see how this works out. We are a harpy matriarchy, which as the har har harem harem, just say it German if I don't know how to pronounce it in English. <coughs> Mechanic, which I think is when they get a new, when they can choose, they can choose from a set of heirs, like the Mamelukes, but I'm not sure. I will see when it comes around. Either way, we're gonna quickly also rival everyone around us, because that is what these guys definitely do. Our, our uh, finances are terrible, because our territory is terrible. We have barely any development, that we have arid and mountains and deserts. Which is not going to change much when we conquer, because this is all desert and mountains around here. But we'll, we'll make do. Let's call it that. Uh, we're going to put you in the Vestalahan Gulf. 
because it is the one that's leading into Bulva. All right. We of course behind on tech and feudalism is missing. <coughs> our ideas. We do get infantry shock, which is interesting. So our our infantry is initially a little bit better at sh uh, at, at combat, which we're gonna get definitely gonna have to use. We have attrition for attrition of enemies, land attrition, aggressive expansion, tax, diplomat, monthly autonomy change, legitimacy and absolutism, infantry fire, and war exhaustion. So, not the biggest fan. There's some interesting stuff in there, but overall, I'm not. Don't think those are good ideas. <coughs> the infantry focus is quite interesting. And we'll see how we how how we'll use that. I'm not sure if we're gonna demonsterize, but I think that's up ahead. We of course have the hunt as our religion. And I'll have to figure out what all of these things do again. <laughs> I know so what some of these do, but we'll we'll see. Uh, military I'm really gonna put up here. I might even go you know what I'm gonna go for ten. I feel like we really need to get these initial fights uh, done quite quickly. We do have our leader uh, as our, gen our leader as a general, and we're a fairly decent general. I mean, five shock, four siege. That is quite nice. We have shriekers in charge, which are very much shock focused. If you want to have a read through them, you can have that. We would also have the vertical pikes, but I think we definitely want to focus on shock as much as possible. Let's deal with the tribal stuff, or the estate stuff quickly, the usual stuff, and we're definitely going to take neighbor raids for that extra manpower. I think I'm also going to go for larger tribal host, just to get as much manpower as possible. <coughs> I would also be to uh, this tolerance thingy here, but I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Alright, so. Uh, mi mission, of course, missions. We are initially actually just f focusing on conquering the stuff around here. We'll see what happens between those two. As that is uh, uh, gonna be a basically determine an uh, 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 interesting conflict. There is a large event that happens as well, and I'm I'm terribly sorry not for not being able to read through that because of my current uh, voice. But we'll see. For now. Army. Oh, right. Speed. Our initial target will be Mulan, because they are basically the weakest at the moment. <coughs> As they also still own stuff, stuff from me. One thing that is important is that Mulan has a mage leader. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful about that. Also one of the reasons why I'm building up so much army, initially. Just to be safe about that. Either way, let's get the claims in the subjugation castles, Belli. And we are definitely gonna do a monstrous conquest on them. There's no question about that. I think the reconquest would not work that well. <coughs> Oh, there rule of the Eastern Sand happens. Let's see what happens with these guys. I like the initial event that they also like the event that they get. We're gonna probably lose a decent chunk of money. That currently does not matter whatsoever. So let's do this fight. Let's see if we can wipe them. And we have the numbers. Lovely. Okay. Before they can make use of their uh, chunky general, uh, we might want to. Okay, that is all right. Good. <coughs> Let's hope this lasts a while. I don't think it will, but I'm still gonna hope that it lasts a while. Uh, you are gonna do that. We don't need all of you guys here. 
No reason to waste manpower. Uh, we can also make use of loot. Let's quickly do that. Okay, there's the Chadadi. I mean, their armies are gonna clash eventually. Not even, I'm not even sure what happens when soccer wins. <coughs> oh, there, the fight is about to happen. Or not. Uh, I think this doesn't even matter, this gets produced. Of course, do need to be a little bit careful. And we're also gonna immediately make use uh, attack Vekal Golan before things go badly. Angry human mob. Do we accept humans? Let's 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 be careful here. <coughs> you never know. I mean they clearly have the numbers advantage, but the Chadadi are strong. I know that from personal experience, that they are quite the tough boys. Alright, let's do all of that. Yoink! Immediately do this course, and... We're also gonna immediately do the crest of Ishtala. To get the claims. <coughs> As we basically uh, uh, reclaim... The former... what's called? Sia Dunan? A lot, uh, a nation that was, I mean, that's always like uh, it. It rose always around to like these things of like, yeah, we want to be this large nation again. And this crest of Ist Istada thing, I think, starts building up, right? Yeah, we always have like the upgrades crest of Istada. For this next thing, we need the war to conclude. Or at least to be at, uh, yeah, we need to wait for the war to conclude. So we're gonna quickly... <coughs> oh! I see something happening here, and that might be bad for... Uh, soccer? Or not! That might be actually very... Are they fast enough? Yes, okay. One... Alright, so the Chadadi dropped. I think that's actually... Oh! Okay. Uh, plays around room, I had pounding just minutes before a match. Chatter, then I had to make for the twist. Uh, true, but it was it here then? Had traded one shadow for another. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so basically, the game wants us to immediately reclaim reclaim the rest of this territory. Da -da -da -da. Well, it's time for Siadan to go on the march. Okay, let's be fast on this and not let soccer take any territory. One. Two. Okay. You have no leader. You're dead. Lovely. So we do need to. Yeah, we definitely need to do this here. There's no question, and you're gonna come here as well. <coughs> you're gonna join this, fi uh, this fight. So, we're gonna take everything. There's no question about that. You can help if you want, but this is my territory. This is all mine. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna quickly do this. I'm not sure about this. I, I, it seems like these guys are dealing with it, okay. But I really want to make sure that all of these places could belong to me. And for that we need to be a little bit careful. <coughs> there we go, lovely. We can just take everything here. Fantastic. Let's make sure that we are not gonna be threatened by the dwarfs. We currently are still allied to soccer, so that's good. <coughs> we are also gonna... I mean, this is a... Okay, it's on both of those, so it doesn't matter. Good. But it's good that we did this fast enough. So that they cannot react to that. Lovely. And with that, we get another crest, we get a bunch of claims, <coughs> lose war exhaustion. I do have enough war exhaustion. Ah, da, 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 that's all fools, the fingers on go. Da, da. This as well, they shall be without recourse, and they shall be scattered, and their children shall be dashed against the stones of their holy mountains. Okay. Half of the mountain clear sides and will look outwards to the west, to the east, and to and the crest of Ishtada will grow ever glorious. So we do get I mean it's the, the crest of Ishtada is step cost, prestige, decay, and legitimacy. But that's alright. We're of course gonna core all of this stuff. I'm wondering if I want to throw out the desert elves. We'll see. For the mo for the moment I've, I'm gonna accept them. Okay, what do we have around here? <coughs> we need to be big. Alright. Let's remember that. Uh, this is all of Farsala Hut. This is gonna be difficult. Because we're gonna have to go against Sokka. Which has an unpleasant ally here. Known as looked. Alright, what is this? Blood Pact Redefined. We signed a Blood Pact many years ago with Sokka, though a great many events got in the way that of that coming too much at all. Perhaps it's time we actually saw to our erstwhile allies. Sure. Let's congratulate you. I'm not sure if that was is good to do right away, but we'll see. <coughs> Edge of Monsters and for the other the rise to its former blood and glory. However, the upper glaze of the star. State knew the truth. Sokka will... will Sokka's will was to rule over all and Siedan was soon to be eclipsed by him. Started finally there, da 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 da. Self along with another card of a sword, da 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 da. Oh! That's shit, actually. Because I want. Okay, it's five years. I cannot fight these guys. How am I supposed to fight these guys? I don't. Okay. <coughs> so this real quick, and probably also deal with Merkel Golan before it is too late. But we definitely need to turn them into subject, there's no uh, argument about that. Alright. I mean, I guess we're gonna rival some stuff around us. Into the east. For this one, we need to start conquering eastwards. We do have the claims on it, but for now... Let's deal with Verkal Gulan first. I mean, I have 10k troops. <coughs> <coughs> A subjugation, yes. Let's see... I mean, do I want this fight? We technically are better. You know what? Let, let them come out. I don't want to fight them in here. Okay, Sokka warned me. Are you gonna go to my capital or are you gonna stand here? I mean, this desert is also right. Yeah. I'm 
gonna allow them to run around my territory a little bit. Oh, that's Dwarven. Sieging. They're gonna go to capital? Fantastic. Oh, they're not going to the capital. Alright, then I'm gonna attack them. We lost that fight. Those are dwarves. I mean, they they are attack ahead of me, but that's about it. All right, good to know. <coughs> it's another good indicator that we're not going to be able to fight soccer, whatever we do, at the moment. No matter how we look at it. So, alright. At least these guys are dealt with. One, two, three. <coughs> <coughs> alright, we probably also should uh, actually lead them there. <laughs> yep. I know you're gonna go here right away. Don't let them get any new dudes. And then we are gonna occupy the rest. You need nine, right? Yeah, so everybody just comes over. <coughs> I might need to gather some allies here. But the problem is... There's not many choices. The command. That's that's ambitious. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I'll I'll give it a try. Okay, you guys just need to wait a little bit while you guys finish the course. Oh, we have rebels coming up. I can't really force brute force ren uh, feudalism in, can I? That just would be too expensive, that makes no sense. Uh, these guys are all fighting each other, at the moment we don't care. That is just seeds. Just not gonna do anything else. Yeah, we're gonna deal with you soon enough. <coughs> oh, Amber Sniffer. Ooh. Is that good? They're gonna lose their bonus when they jump out, but... Nice to see that break. Okay, they just immediately left again. Also, of course, Sokka currently is a powerful mage, so fighting them is just suicide. Okay, this is giving penalties in a siege. Good to know. <coughs> this one gives speed as far as I remember? What is this? Oh, we just basically uh, 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 put minorities in our capital. Okay. What did that do? Oh, there we go. Okay, just movement speed. Another disease outbreak, lovely. Uh, if this continues, we're actually gonna lose, uh, lose this territory. There we go, okay. Uh, of course, we're gonna make you subject. Money. 
and this province. Yeah. Not sure which one makes more sense. I mean, we think we still need to core it. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. They, of course, are very upset about this. But we're gonna quickly switch that. <coughs> so, now we need to get you all right again. Alright, we eclipsed someone. Or oh, you did quickly did your war. Ouch. Yeah, we do have a few more rebels coming up, so we're gonna be a little bit hurt. So, make use of everything. Oh, we can actually embrace lovely. Good, that's very good. That saves me so much points. Now we need to catch up on tech. <coughs> this is gonna take a while. I'll tell you that. I think I should also turn these guys into a march, right? Because I don't want this territory. Because... Yeah. I see no reason for you to be that. Uh, too many diplomatic relations. Uh, let's turn friendly. Let's see if that helps, maybe. That would be a fantastic alliance. I also not sure if I want to actually ally the harpies. Because they might get beaten up. So. <coughs> now I'm running out of options. For conquest. Oh, lovely. Stability doesn't hurt. That's not happening. I guess I. I mean, the problem is I cannot really get rid of it that easily. I need to really recover on the manpower now because I know that I have conflicts here. Oh! That is fantastic. That is amazing. Hopefully you die. Oh, you're already dead. Good. That is a, de uh, that is a good first choice. Yeah, you're gonna lose that fight. That's good. <coughs> yeah, this doesn't happen. The Red Stallion. Is that a good idea? I don't think it is. Amber Sniffer, the Harpies. Amber Sniffer. You have numbers. Let's give it a go. Maybe. It helps. This is gonna be awful. <laughs> I'm just happy that I re managed to do the thingy. So the question is... What Knollagas is gonna do with you? Because I assume that Knollagas is gonna be our next co uh, uh, problem then. As we are, very much not. Okay, I guess this doesn't work. <sighs> I 
I do need to get a hard piece then. I feel like... I mean, they are stro still, st still strong. I also need to get rid of this. <coughs> so. Well, I guess with this I'm also gonna end the episode here. So, like always, like the Redemption Arnigans. I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!